Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all fine and safe. I am Mrs. Rani, Max teacher. Today we are going to a, a new topic which will be very very interesting. Okay, last class we studied about the first chapter of numbers. All the number chapters, everything is loaded in the YouTube children so that you can cross check also. Okay, before going to the topic, just I wanted to insist about the all healthy habits, all the safety measures, what we have to take in uh, nowadays, isn't it? So hand washing techniques and uh, going out with the mask, always using the following the social distancing, please try to follow every time. Okay, okay. Coming back to the topic. Now we are going to start the new topic, geometry. Okay, you will be loving to do the geometry, isn't it? In the class time, we will be like to draw the shapes, different shapes, isn't it? Okay, today's class, we are going to check about the geometry. In the geometry chapter, we are going to learn the construction of 2D shapes. Okay, we have 2D shapes for this first session. Now you can see some 2D shapes which I have drawn already here. Square, rectangle, triangle, circle. These are the shapes already we have studied in our lower classes also. Isn't it? So you are familiar with these shapes I know very well. But I wanted to insist how to draw the construction. How to draw the this following shapes properly. Okay. Follow with me children. Take scale and pencil. Okay. When you are drawing the square, the square should be having four sides. Isn't it? One, two, three, four. This four sides should be equal. Okay. So, when you are taking the scale, see measurement starts from here. See, for the first one, two, three, four, five like that, the numbers are here. Isn't it? So, when you are, I am taking just four numbers. Okay. Till four, I have to draw a line here. I wanted to draw a Take a 4, okay, 4 measurement, I am drawing here, see, I am keeping the dot here from the 4 till 1, yes, can you see this clearly, okay, then I am from this dot, okay, I am keeping 4 exactly here, see, 4 is here exactly, so I am drawing again here, from the last tip, isn't it, again I am taking 4 here, okay, and drawing a, line here okay again i'm taking i'm joining this side see four sides one two three four now all the four sides are equal in size isn't it this is called square this is the exact method of drawing a square now rectangle rectangle you can see the rectangle only the opposite sides are uh, equal this side this opposite sides are equal this opposite sides are equal so i'm taking three measurement for the this side i'm here i'm taking the five measurement okay so first i will draw the five okay line i'm taking uh, measurement from one this zero to five i have drawn five okay now i'm taking the measurement of three this side okay Yes, again, 5. And now I am joining this side, the 3. Isn't it? Okay, now you can check this opposite sides are equal and this opposite sides are equal. Isn't it? The 4 sides is here and this opposite sides are equal. Now for drawing the triangle, you can take a measurement in the first line okay i am taking five okay one two five i stop with the five yes correct and then just from the all the sides i am taking equally for the triangle okay children okay good now i am taking the from the five i am just keeping the center point to show okay right so it will be good to see isn't it okay I am keeping like this. Okay. Then I am joining this side. When I am joining this side, you can see this is 
triangle. Now, when we are drawing the circle, I have seen many children. They they will be drawing very interestingly with the bottle cap. They whatever the circle shape they are having, they will use that. They will be very brilliant children also, isn't it? Okay. For drawing the circle, we have exact correct method of drawing. We have to use this protector and the pencil only. But nowadays in the stationery shops, we are getting this bro circles also. So you can use this also or you wanted to draw with the uh, protector using the protector. Okay, you have to take a, this is the exact correct method children. When you are learning to the higher classes, you will be learning like this only. See, I am taking the measurement first. See, I wanted to draw a circle. Okay, here I have drawn a bigger circle. I am going to draw a small circle now. Okay, I am taking only three measurement. Okay, so just keep in the center point where you want to draw. In the center point, first keep this, no, the needle like uh, thing is there, no, that you keep it clearly, then you draw the circle. Okay, like this, you have to complete the circle, both the sides. See, I'm holding a mobile and drawing this, so I'm finding difficult, but when you are using freely, no, it will be easy only. Now we completed the all four 2D shapes, isn't it? Square, rectangle, triangle and circle. Now you understood how to draw these four shapes, isn't it? Next, we are going to see about the properties of 2D shapes. That is square, rectangle, triangle and circle. What we will learn today, we are going to see about the properties. What it's having, isn't it? So first square, square have four sides as I told you. One, two, three. 3, 4. So, 4 sides it's having. And 4 corners. What are corners, children? This edge is only called as a corners. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. This 2 lines where it meets, no, that is called corner. 1, 2 lines joining here, no, that is corner. Next, 2 diagonals. What is diagonals means? Where the 2 corners meet. See, if I am having here, this from this corner to this corner, if I am joining here, okay this is called diagonal see and here i can draw one more diagonal also isn't it so yes so the square has two diagonals and four sides are equal here all the four sides are equal in the measurement all the centimeters whatever you are taking will be same okay equal then two diagonals are equal okay this two diagonals also will be in a equal measurement Okay, this is the properties of square. And next we are moving on to the rectangle. Here, rectangle are also having four sides. One, two, three, four sides. And four corners. Okay, one, two, three, four. And it also having two diagonals, just like square, isn't it? So, when you are joining these two corners, okay, here to here. Okay, when I am drawing a line, you can see easily one diagonal. two diagonals isn't it so it having the two diagonals and two opposite sides are equal only this opposite sides are equal one two this two opposite sides are equal and two diagonals are equal this two diagonals are equal only from the square and rectangle this only one point is differ children here four sides are equal here only two opposite sides are equal next circle circle there is no sides okay circle not having any side okay no corners no corners also no corners there one center point is there where is the center point so the center point will be here the center you can see the protector i have taken a one that needle like a thing i kept it here and then i draw no that is only center point with the one center point only we can draw the circle so it has one center point next we are going to the triangle it has three sides okay one two three and three corners one two three with this we are completing today's session children the identification of 2d shapes and the construction of 2d shapes 
circle square and rectangle and triangle we have learned today isn't it so this only will be a assignment for you take a page in a one page one shape you have to draw okay neatly in a first page draw square okay use your scale pencil neatly take a correct measurement in the scale okay and then get your help from your parent okay then write this properties neatly down okay same way rectangle circle and the triangle also okay children bye and see you in the next video i hope you will understand everything thank you